Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing Pokemon X again. Today is going to be another Evolution Day, so we're just going to focus on filling our Pokedex. We're going to start with just a couple of Evolutions, then we're going to move on to catching all of the fish Pokemon that we kind of missed um, because we didn't have the Good Rod and the Super Rod, and then we're going to start hatching some eggs to get some of the babies. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, I think Eevee evolves here. <clears throat> cool. Apparently Aurora evolves also. Alright. I think it is finally nighttime. And I think I got my Eevee to high friendship. So I'm putting it all together. I'm hoping. And I'm praying. But we also get our big old dinosaur too, which is nice. Alright, and we get our Eevee. Bless his hope to God, it's the right one. Because I've been trying real hard. And then, I think i got to get Sylveon. I'm going to have to figure out how to get that too. But first... Yes, thank you, finally, Umbreon, thank you. There we go. We got ourselves an Umbreon. Sure, whatever. Just get rid of charm. That's fine. Alright. Cool. Okay, here we go. We're getting ourselves the Glee Gligar evolution. So, I don't know if I'll put it in the video, but I was just at the battle place and I got enough points for the Razor Fang along with the Razor Claw. So. Got ourselves this evolution also. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Definitely super cool Pokemon. One of the cooler ones for show. Okay, here we go. And it is nighttime, so we can get the Sneasel holding the Razor Claw to evolve into the Weavile. Or Weevil, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Also, another one of my definitely favorite Pokemon. Okay, are we evolving? Okay. So, I went ahead and grabbed Nose Pass, and I came over to outside of Route 13. Right outside of the power plant. And according to that, that is how you evolve Nose Pass. So, that's pretty cool. Now, here's what I wonder. If the same thing works for Magnuston... Is it, are we going to get an evolution? I guess we will see. Okay, so let's see. Does Magna... Okay. So, um, confirmed. Magneton also turns into Magna Zone outside of the power plant on Route 13. Noted. There we go. Two more evolutions. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Man, we're going to be running out of Pokemon to evolve here. I think our Pokedex is up to 435, so man, we're gonna start be wearing we're gonna start wearing thin soon on Pokemon to get. Okay, so I've been trying to level up my shelter, and apparently it doesn't need to be leveled up. I just need a water stone, so. Alright, here we go. Here's our uh evolution of shelter. Oops. It's like level 50 something. This is like the highest level shelter that's ever been created. Oops. Cool. So I think the only, basically the only one that doesn't need a stone at this point is just the Sligoo, which I just need some rain. Okay, everybody. So it's late at night, so I'm probably going to try to talk a little more quiet than I usually do. But um, it's kind of finally that time. Since we got the Good Rod and the Ultra Rod, we kind of neglected a lot of places, especially earlier in the game. So right now, I'm kind of just going through the early parts of the map with, obviously, surfing and both of the rods. And I'm collecting the Pokemon that we missed. And this is one of them here, the Masquerain. Nope. Okay. 
and then we have a lot of Pokemon here to catch. So let's go ahead and go over to this. Yeah, so there is Gyarados seeking a Crawdont. Here we have the Goldeen. Let's go ahead and throw a dive ball at it. So we still need the Magikarp, the Coldfish, the Gyarados, the Seeking, and the Crawdot. There's actually a large amount of Pokemon that we have to just kind of go back and snatch. So this will be interesting. Now, I know a lot of these Pokemon are going to be repeats in later routes. So it's not like, you know, we have to go through 16 routes with each, like, four or five new Pokemon. But it swims at a steady knot. It strikes back with Stronghorn. Okay, here we go. And here is the Corefish. That was kind of quick. Gonna throw a dive ball at it. Hopefully, can I get a first try? One. Oh, hey, crit. You absolutely love to see it. Okay, there we go. Alright. No matter how dirty the water is, it will adapt and survive. Oh, no, I do not. I do not need. Okay, so let's see, who do we get first? We get our Seeking, which is a 30%. And really, the hard one is the Crawdon, which is that 5%. That one will probably take a little bit of a hot minute to get, but Seeking was caught. Malamar to 46. Night Slash? Do we need Night Slash? No, we don't need Night Slash. Yeah, that's fine. We've earned 57. Okay, what can we learn about Seeking? In the autumn spawning season, they can be seen swimming powerfully up rivers and creeks. Okay. Well, now we need Gyarados and Crawdon. Okay. We got ourselves the Gyarados probably get a much higher level Gyarados later, but oh well. It's okay. I'm not gonna trip about it right now. And then did we, what are the surfing Pokemon? Oh, the other one's Marill. Okay. Cool. Corfish Goldeen. Got ourselves a Gyarados. And actually, funny enough, the other one that I need is Magikarp. So we somehow got ourselves a Gyarados before we got a Magikarp. In ancient literature, there is a record of a Gyarados that raised a village when violence flared. Gyarados is scary, bro. Alright, now we just gotta look for the Crawdont. Okay, here we go. We finally got the Crawdont. That took a, actually a pretty good hot minute. It did not want to come. I think, I definitely, I think I did over 20 casts. So a little bit below average, but we managed to get it. So there we go, we got all of the Pokemon that are, cons well actually hold on, I can't say that yet, we still got Magikarp here, we still need to grab that Magikarp. It is a ruffian that uses its pincers to pick up and toss out other Pokemon out of its pond. Oh god, that's really mean. Okay, so now all we need is just the Magikarp, which we can just use with an old rod, so this shouldn't be that hard, we just need to grab one. Just so we can fill that Pokedex slot. Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. I think it's literally the only Pokemon we can get, so... This shouldn't be that much of a problem. Okay. Bang, bang. Let's go and chuck another dive ball at it. Alright, let's see. What are we going next? Sentinel City. Route... Route 4. Nothing on Route 4. Okay, anyway. There we go, we got the magic art. And then we'll see where I have to head next. It is virtually worthless in terms of both power and speed. It is the most weak and pathetic Pokemon in the world. <laughs> oh, come on. Why you gotta be so harsh on my boy Magikarp? Okay, well that's it for Route 3. Let me see what route I have to get to next. Okay, so... If we run over to Route 22, there is one Pokemon that I have to get, and that's Carvana and Sharp Sharpedo. Okay, there is our Sharpedo. 
And then we'll just use the good rod to get Carvana. And we'll just be all set here on Route 22. Oh, okay. And hey, look at that. Even a nice little critical catch there. Very nice, very nice. Let's take a look at its Pokedex entry. Its fangs rip through sheet iron. It swims at 70 miles per hour and is known as the Bully of the Sea. Well, that's not very nice to be Sharpedo. Why you gotta be so mean to your brothers and sisters out in the ocean? Let's go ahead and pull out the good rod here. And we need to get ourselves a little Carvana. And we'll be all set. Hopefully we can get it, maybe just get it first try. There we go, first try. You absolutely love to see it. Okay. Um, bang. We need to go buy more dive balls, it seems. Okay. Let's see, Route 14, Route 4, Route 5, Route 16, and Route 13. We have to go to every single one of them to see if there's anything new. Okay. Scrub to 47. I'm pretty sure the scrub will evolve right here. I have an inkling that it does. They form packs to attack boats and rip out their hulks to sink them. They live in the rivers in the jungle. Well, we are definitely not in the jungle, I can tell you that. But I also... <laughs> oh, for some reason, I thought Scrub... Don't tell me Scrub uses a water. I don't think it does, but I'm just going to check just in case. Okay, guys, I'm here on Route 8. I think one Pokemon I kind of just neglected to get was Quillfish. So we're going to quickly grab... Quillfish. I'm literally just going route by route and kind of just seeing what I'm missing here. I noticed that Quillfish was one of them that I was missing. So, then route 9. Then route 10. Not missing anything in route 10. Nope. What about route 11? Okay. We need to go to route 12. To fire his poison spice, he must deflate his body by drinking over 2.5 of gallons of water at once. Okay, we need to go to 12 because we need a Corsola. Then jump on our Noivern here. Where is 12? First Pokemon should theoretically be Corsola. There we go. Yep, this is the most common. You would hope it is. So that is Route 12. Let's go ahead, throw a dive ball at it. Go to Route 13, nothing. Route 14. Nothing. Route 15. Nothing. I think that's probably most of them there. Okay, continue sheds and grows at the pivot's head. His prize is a treasure because of its beauty. Okay, there we go. Corsola. Um, I'm gonna keep looking. Okay. We need to head over to Ambret Town. Apparently there are a bunch of Pokemon in that single town for some reason that can be caught. Okay. To Ambret Town we go. Yeah, there's there's the horsey. Then there's a Relicanth, and there's the Seedra. And then I know we probably have to get the third evolution of Horsey, too. Now my question, where in the world can I fish in Ambert Town? Oh, okay, now I remember. Technically, down here is Ambret Town, here. So we can fish here for some of the Pokemon. Okay, so let's see. Isidro or Relicanth? I think Relicanth is the most common, yep. Okay, when does this happen? Level 48. Okay, so, funny enough, our Skrelp is, like, very, very close to evolving, so... We might not even need the Dr Dr Jalgi. It levels up one more time and we're basically solid, so... And then I'll have to figure out how to get the... What is it? The Queendra? Kingdra? I think it's a Kingdra. I have no idea. I forgot. But there we go. It has remained unchanged for 100 million years. It was discovered during a deep sea exploration. Well, they're kind of everywhere, so I don't think you particularly discovered them very well. 
Okay, everybody, there is the Seedra, and I'm going to go ahead and use my last dive ball here just to grab it. The other thing we need is really... Ch Ooh, okay, well, it did not want to stay. Seedra was caught. Now we just need its little cousin, Horsey. Its body bristles with sharp spikes. Carelessly trying to touch it could cause fainting from the spikes. Start chucking Ultra Balls here. And then again, we'll, well, I think we have to trade for the third evolution of Horsey, so. Oh. Alright, we are done with Ambret Town. Let's let me get back to looking. Let me see if I can find any other water Pokemon lying around. I think there is some at Azure Bay. Here's the another new one at Azure Bay, which is the Alamomomola, or however the heck you say it. Another one of those kind of dumb water Pokemon that doesn't really have an evolution. It just kind of is what it is, you know? Kind of like a bet. Honestly, I'm not really sure why they added this and Love Disc in the same game, considering... Wait, is Love can is does Love Disc have, no? They're they are two different Pokemon. I almost feel like this Pokemon should be the evolution of Love Disc. I don't particularly know why they're different Pokemon. They're both heart shaped. They're both pink and they're both fish. But hey, who am I to say? Yeah, there we go. The Alolomolo, whatever thing is called, has been caught. And do I have Chinchu and Lantern? I'll have to check. Floating in the open sea is how they live. When they find a wooden Pokemon, they embrace it and bring it to shore. Nice Pokemon. Nice, very much nicer compared to um, Sharpedo, for sure. Okay, now, let me... Ooh, not Central, no. I'm looking for Coastal. Okay, we do have both Chinchu and Lantern. So, that is the only Pokemon we needed here. So, grow it. I'm evolving. Wow, that took a long time, but we made it. We made it happen. I think soon I'm actually going to head over to the breeder. The guy, that masquerade, I actually have to breed, funny enough. I was thinking, I'm like, hey, wait a minute, where do I get Surskit? Yeah, apparently we don't find Surskit. We have to breed it. But there we go. We got our Dragalge, or however you say it. Now, I'm just going to quickly level up uh, this um, Burmy. And we'll be get out of here. Here we go. Burmy is evolving, and I think theoretically it should evolve into the other one, the one that we don't have. Is that it? Yes, I think that is the new one. Yeah, the Wormadam. Perfect. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and I gotta head over to the breeder. This is very weird, but I actually completely forgot that I did not evolve Pidgeotto. If you guys remember at the beginning of the game, I said we'll put him away and evolve him later when I can more easily get levels. And whenever I went through my box, I just assumed that this Pidgeotto was actually a Pidgeot. But I literally forgot until at this point in the game, so finally! We get our Pidgeotto, or Pidgeot, after all this time, just because I simply forgot. I only remembered when I was going through the Pokedex, and I realized, hmm, for some reason, Pidgeot doesn't have a spot. I also completely forgot to trade my Alakazam back to me. That's another thing that I need to do. Okay, here we go. We got our Surskit from an egg. Bing, bong, bing. Nope. And we also got to grab another egg from our Doug Drio. Yep, blah, 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 blah. Holding an egg. Do you want it? Yes, I do. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm literally just going through my Pokedex and I'm seeing what Pokemon I don't have the little version of. And that's kind of what I'm working on right now. So, like, that was another one of the Surskit that I didn't have. Then I also grabbed my Doug Drio, which I didn't have. Man, I got a lot more things to hatch than I thought I did. If Pichu, Wubbuffet, Wooper, Gassy, Mightyena, Watchog, Lombre, Fultzel, Swinum, Girder, all of those apparently Jigglypuff, all of these I need the baby oven. I didn't read Zorua. Zoroark. 
I didn't know, man. I didn't know I needed all these babies, man. Pseudo Wudo. Another one. Pseudo Wudo. I'm gonna have to grab. Oh, Gotharita. Uh, Gotharita. That's another one that I'm gonna need the baby of. What? Do I not have Earthstrings, baby? Okay. We need Teddy Ursa too. We need um her dragons. What else? Okay. Oh, okay. We have a lot more babies to get than I thought we did. Okay. Well, time to start. Okay. Looks like we got another egg popping here. And I already have a couple eggs in my thingy, so I have no idea which eggs I'm currently cracking. What do we got? A Magnemite. Okay, here's one that I actually didn't know. Did I ever catch a Magnemite? I have no idea. I completely forgot. Is this new? I guess that's not new. Okay, well, I just wasted my time, but that's all right. Okay, here we go. Another egg hatching. What do we got this time? Again, like, apparently short-term memory. I have no idea what I'm hatching here. What do we got? We got... Oh, yes, a Diglett. Okay. do 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 There we go. We got ourselves a Diglett. Nope, no nickname. Very cool. All right. Okay. Here is another egg. Who do we got in the Kinter Egg Surprise this time, huh? What do we got? Hey, we got ourselves a timber. Again, one of those Pokemon where we found, like, you know, the evolved version, but we never actually found the smaller version. So, there we go. Okay, here's another Kinder Egg surprise. Let's see who we got this time. Is it my Bonsley, maybe? No, it's my Iggy Buff. Cool. There, or, not Iggy Buff. It's not Iggy Azalea. It's Iggy Buff. Very, very cool. Okay, we got another surprise. Let's go ahead and see what is in egg number one. I think this is the Bonsley, if I remember correctly. No, it is the Puchina. Okay, where is my Bonsley? That Bonsley is taking forever. Holy. Yeah, but there's the Puchina. Okay, everybody. So, it's been a little bit. I just started breeding basically as many Pokemon as I could. And here are all of the eggs that we have to hatch. So before I was kind of hatching and walking, hatching and hawking, I thought it would be a lot more fun to just kind of find a bunch that I knew I needed and then go from there. So let's go ahead and let's do it the easier way. Let's go ahead and deposit. Let's start hatching. So now I've got a bunch of them. Okay, withdraw. So I've got a bunch of eggs and we'll kind of just go by random. So these are we ha all of these need to be hatched and all these have new pokemon so this is kind of the fun part where we just have to now do a little bit of walking so let's go ahead and do that go ahead and get our uh, bike up and running and here we go okay here we go first egg let's see what we got maybe shiny maybe maybe that would be like a nice little side bonus all right we got ourselves a whooper very cool. No nickname. And we keep riding. Alright, here we go. Another egg. Another dollar. Let's see who we got in this one. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Hey, a little Pichu. Okay. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. No nickname. Okay. Very cool. Back to riding. All right, another egg. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Hopefully something cool. Maybe something a little shiny. Ghastly, yes. That's another one of the Pokemon that we kind of just jumped straight into Haunter and Gengar. But we never thought about a little old Ghastly. So there we go. We got ourselves a get. Whoa, okay, right away we got uh, another egg. All right, well, you love to see it. Just bang, bang. Another one right out of the bag. What do we got? All right, we got our Patrat. Yep, because we got we had we got the Watch Hog or Watch Hog, but we never got the Patrat. So there we go. Okay, 
You know, I'm actually gonna go pick up a couple new eggs. I still have one in my inventory, but I might as well put these four away while I'm at it. All right, here we go. Another egg. What do we got this time? Man, I've called Bonsley like six times already. It the Bonsley's got to be one of these eggs, right? No, a Teddy Ursa. Okay. There we go. Got ourselves a Teddy Ursa. Right, we're still recording. We're still good. Just want to make sure I'm like I didn't. I'm recording all this, right? All right, here we go. Another egg. Who do we got? Maybe someone cool. This egg got the hops. What do we got? Swine up, yes. Another one where I think we... I think we just caught the pilo swine right away, but we never got the swine up. Very cool, very cool. All right, another egg. Who do we got? Who do we got? I'll probably pick up a couple more eggs after this one. Just again, just to save save ourselves some steps. Oh, okay, the buizel. Yes, because we went straight to I think we caught the float soul, but we never nobody ever thinks about the buizel, do they, in this game? Okay. Well let's go ahead and head back in. I'm gonna drop off these three and grab three more eggs. Once again, famous line. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Alright, we got the Dieno. It's another one where I think we just went to the Zuelis and then got the Hydreigon. But now we got the Dieno. Whoa, okay, hey. Back to back. You absolutely love to see it. What we got? What we got? Okay. We got ourselves a Lotad. I think we caught the Lombre. But a low tad was never given as an option. Very cool. Let's see. Can we get maybe another one? Just maybe just back to back. Can we just get another one? I don't think so. Okay, back to the grind. Okay, here we go. Another one. What do we? What new Pokemon do we have in this egg? Man, now I'm kind of fiending for a Kinder's egg. Voltorb. Okay, this is one that I didn't know if we got a Voltorb or not. I genuinely was not sure, so I think I, now that I think about it, I think we did grab it, but I, I grabbed an egg just in case, because I'm like, you know what, look, I might as well just throw a electrode in there to make myself an egg real quick. Now, another question I have is, how many eggs do I have left? Let's see. Like the 12th egg at this point. Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, so I need to grab like a, oh, okay. What is, I forgot its name. Gothita. I was gonna say I need to grab um like a Japanese Pokemon so I could do shiny egg hatching, the Masuda method, but I just realized I don't think there actually no there is a way. I would need to connect with someone who's in Japan from Citra. Which might be a bit hard. Eh, whatever. Something to think about later. Alright, that was pretty fast. I literally just Set scooted in my chair, little thingy, and we have one popping up. Who we got? Who we got? Wait, where's Bonsley? Is Bonsley not a thing? Okay, never mind then. I thought we could get Bonsley. I don't know why. What? Okay, one more egg. Let's I'm gonna quickly look up how to get Bonsley in Pokemon X. we got yo what where's munchlax and bonsley bro okay let's see who we got this time or if i made another mistake <laughs> and i don't know what's going on with the pseudo and Snorlax. i don't know if maybe those pokemon came out later or if i'm just mad tripping okay but we got ourselves a ma mahuhita mahuhita and again this is another one of the pokemon where not actually sure if we already had it, but it was one of those like, yeah, I don't feel like checking. I might as well just do it, right? More eggs. Let's see who we got in this one. And then after this, I might it's like two in the morning and I should probably go to sleep, but I'll probably try to do some quick trading. And we'll go from there. Okay, where's... Okay, there's three mistakes in this batch. I don't... I don't know why... Um, why I'm not getting smaller versions of these but all right 
Okay, and this is the the Zorua. Okay, cool. And I'll, and I'll definitely have to figure out the pseudo Wudo and the Snorlax and stuff. But that'll that'll definitely be not tonight. I'm gonna do some trading tonight because I think I left a few on my other account, like the Alakazam and the Electrike and the Throw. But let's go ahead and organize the boxes here. These three, I'm going to leave in this box for now so I can take a look at them again later. Alright guys, so we're going to end it off here for today. Thanks for watching.